Once your seams have set up for a little bit, it's time to clean them up. You're going to need water, a scraper, a shirt form tool, sponge, water, and of course your pot. To start, level off the top edge using the shirt form tool. Keep scraping until it's all flat. Now that your top's level, go ahead and use that shirt form tool again and hold it at a 45 degree angle and make a bevel around the edge. This will make your pot look nicer and also keep it from chipping. Repeat those same steps that you did on the top of your pot on the bottom of the pot. First, scrape the sides flat, then after you have that all finished, bevel the edges. Beveling the edges on the bottom is very important. It makes, it, it makes the pot have a shadow on the table and it'll also keep that bottom from chipping, which can happen easily if you don't. Now that you've got all your sides flat, you're going to need to use the scraper tool. Bend it just a little bit. This helps it cut better and hold it perpendicular to the pot and scrape. Keep on scraping until your edges are totally flat. It's kind of fun. If you're having problems getting the scraper to work or the shirt form tool, usually it's because your pot is too wet. Let it dry out for a little bit and it'll be easier to work with. You can tell if your pot's too wet because the shirt form tool will get all jammed up with clay. Now that your pot's all cleaned up, it's essential to clean up your workspace. If you have a dirty workspace, all that extra clay that's on your table will just end up sticking to the pot that you spent a long time cleaning up. So clean up your area, make sure it's nice and clean, and then you can do the final step, which is sponging. Get that sponge out, get the water, make sure you wring all the water out. If you make a lake on it, your pot's going to dissolve and fall apart again. So squeeze all the water out and just sponge it down until it's nice and smooth how you want it. Now that you're all finished, go ahead and wrap it up with plastic. Pots are less likely to crack if they dry slowly, and we will still need it wet for next class when we add the black slip. So go ahead and wrap it up with plastic, put it on your shelf, and good job. See you next time.